Family Reunion is quite a different episode of Postcards from Buster because it's kind of Postcards from Buster and DW. This is the 35th episode of the first season and there were actually a few things in this that really annoyed me, but generally it wasn't too bad. Buster is in Nashville, Tennessee. He's apparently been there for a while and he's a bit fed up of it because he's seen everything that he wanted to see. But it turns out that Arthur's family are having a family reunion in Nashville. And I thought, okay, this is a bit interesting. There, Arthur's going to be there. Is it just going to be an episode of Arthur? Actually, Arthur's not in it that much. But DW manages to persuade Buster to let her go along with him to film various things while Arthur is off collecting luggage and things with his father. And Buster goes to this house of, of this girl, and I'll talk more about her and what we learn with that in a moment. Um, but we do have a lot of DW's voice asking questions, commenting on things, and it was it was weird, but in a good way. And I don't know I don't know if these episodes were filmed in sequence. But waiting until episode 35 out of, I think, 40 in the first season is quite a long time to wait for this episode. But it, it worked. I would have liked to have had more of Arthur and more animation of Arthur and Buster. But I realise that's just me yearning for the TV show Arthur. But having DW along and constantly having her voice there was was a little different. But it also made me realise that postcards from Buster could be a lot more irritating. Because you know, Buster asks a decent amount of questions. DW asks an incessant amount of questions. Uh, but no, she, she gave it a different energy and I liked it. It starts off with Buster and DW filming um, some skating at the skating rink. And he meets a girl there and her family. Uh, and they're Kurdish. And I, don't, I didn't know very much about Kurdish culture. Um, so that was interesting. I, I learned a bit. Although I will say I wish the camera person had asked her to stop chewing gum. She was chewing, I assume, gum quite a lot and it was really irritating me and really getting on my nerves but Buster and DW go back to her house we learn about their culture uh we learn about their clothing and things and DW mostly learns a lot Buster already knows quite a lot about the Muslim faith because of other people he's met but it was an opportunity for recapping if you hadn't seen those episodes or for DW to learn about things like the Quran and who Allah is um which was interesting and they always eat on the floor, which is not good for digestion, but never mind. But one thing really did irritate me a lot. And that apparently in their culture, the girls don't get to eat until the boys have finished serving their own food. And to me, that's not a cultural thing. That's a sexist thing. And I'd like to think that, you know, 20 years or so after this was filmed, just under that, maybe that's changed. But that really annoyed me so much. And I thought this is... You know, it's supposed to be a celebration of the differences and the cultures and different ways cultures do things. This is celebrating the Kurdish New Year, which I didn't know was in spring. So that was really fascinating. But by, you know, displaying something that is a negative about a culture, it kind of just made it a bit of a downer because I got really annoyed by that. I thought that's not a cultural thing. That's a sexist thing. And we shouldn't be celebrating that at all. Thankfully, they didn't focus on it too much. Uh, they kind of just glossed over it. I wish Buster had maybe, you know, spoken up. But DW, to her credit, did. She said something like, me and Arthur get to serve our own food. And I thought, good on you, DW. Well done for pointing out that that's not fair. That's not on. It's not acceptable. Uh, it's not, as I said, it's not a celebration of something in their culture. It's just highlighting that it's sexist and it's not acceptable. It would only be acceptable if the girls wanted to wait. And I have a feeling that not many of them would. So that was annoying. The chewing gum was annoying. And honestly, it's not that well filmed. But then DW is holding the camera a lot of the time so they can kind of get away with it. It's a bit of a weak episode. And I wonder, now that I've said that, I wonder if they filmed the live action footage and then decided that there wasn't enough substance so they brought in the Arthur storyline. Could be, could be. Because, yeah, there definitely isn't a lot of substance to this. And what is there isn't really new information. A lot of us have learned that already if you've watched Postcards from Buster before this. So, yeah, maybe. I'd, I'd be very keen to know if that's the case. If they filmed the live action and then realised that there wasn't enough. Um, I don't know, but the, the bit about rice on the nose felt like that was meant to be there. And that made a lot of sense. 
But then maybe it was meant to be Buster who was going to say that. I don't know. If anybody who was uh, producing this show is watching this or listening to me for some weird reason, uh, hello, thank you for creating such an amazing show. Is that true? I'd love to know. Uh, Yeah, not the best episode, but certainly quite a different episode. And at the end of the day, it was just great to see the reads again.